Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own stamps. But these are not any kind of stamps. I actually have shown you how to make those. They are texturized stamps to look vintage and they will give it a great touch to things. So in this video, I'll show you how you can make them. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can use it to personalize a shirt. So if you want to know how to make this kind of stamp, which by the way, are extremely inexpensive to make, keep on watching. Let's start with the stamps. You'll need styrofoam. This is the one you usually get out of packages. I got mine out of a store and they give it to me for free. Scissors and or exacto blade. A marker. And that's it. Okay, let's get started. Start by taking your styrofoam. Mine, it is a long piece, and I started by drawing the silhouette of a cat. Drawing your desired design will make it easy to crave away later on. Remember that if you want to make a letter or a symbol that has a side, you need to make them flip. Then the styrofoam usually has a line in the middle like so. So we are going to use that line as a limit to cut. If your styrofoam does not have it, you can draw it on the middle of your piece with a marker. Now, take your blade and start cutting away the excess of your stem, and be careful not to cut any further than the limit. The craving is a little bit hard to explain. You go inside the piece with a blade all around your design. Then you go sideways of your piece and cut away only the excess. Remember not to cut your actual stem. Use scissors once you are done to make the edges of your stamp cleaner. And that's it! That's how you make texturized stamps. They're so easy and so inexpensive to make. Now I'll show you how you can personalize a shirt with the stamps. You're going to need a plain shirt. I got mine at Goodwill for $3. Fabric queen of your choice. Sponge brush. Cardboard. And your newly made stamps. Okay, let's get started. Start by placing your shirt on a flat surface and then introduce the cardboard between the two layers of your fabric. This will prevent the paint from bleeding through the other side. It would be ideal for you to iron your shirt first. But I'm a little bit lazy so I just skip the step and it still works just fine. So YOLO. Okay, to stamp is very simple. Only squirt a small amount but generous of paint on the stamp and spread it evenly with a sponge brush. Make sure the stamp does not have any excess paint. And then stamp away. And you just repeat that on the rest of your shirt. Following your pattern if you want, you can place it all randomly around your shirt. That's totally up to you. And I decided to only do the front part, but you can also do the back. If you want like a kind of ombre effect like I did, when you're going down, start putting less paint on the stem and so on. At the bottom, I added almost nothing of paint on the stem. And then let it dry completely and you are finished. As a bonus, I cut the sleeves, the bottom and the color hem because I didn't quite like them. And that's it guys, I hope you liked this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for checking this video, it means so much to me. You can follow me on my social media that will be listed down below in the description. And if you ever create any of my DIYs, you can send me a picture through all of the social medias that I mentioned before. That's everything for this video guys, see you soon. Yeah.